President, uh, yes, sir. No. I'd like to ask you a two-part question. Uh, do you think that Mr. Nixon should run for governor of California? <laughs> and and uh, as a politician, Mr. President, what do you think of the advisability of a political party uh, giving a defeated candidate a second chance at the presidency? Well, I would think in answer to your first uh, question, if Mr. Nixon asked my view as a fellow uh, practitioner of the uh, follower of the political profession, I'd be glad to give him my opinion, as I do have an opinion on the matter. Uh, but uh, uh, so the second, uh, the second uh, I think that, uh, that uh, history is filled with uh, a case of a uh, man who's been defeated for uh, offices, who've uh, continued their public service, and uh, I... Uh, I think we'll, uh, we've seen it very much in the last few years. I'm sure we'll see it in the next years. Ms. Craig. Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, visitors who go out to visit Lincoln Park on East Capitol Street are dismayed to find it a slum. Congress has authorized and the National Council of Negro Women will erect there a memorial stadium and a, a statue of the great woman educator Mary Bethune. Now the transit company proposes to put an eight-lane freeway between the park and the Capitol, cutting it off. Is the, could you inquire into that and see if the freeway could be put further out beyond the park? Yes, I will. Fine. <laughs> Today, Ms. Craig. <laughs> I guess we, uh, this uh, chimpanzee who was flying in space uh, took off at 10.08. He reports that everything is perfect and working well. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, ever since you permitted the telecast of press conferences, a great deal of attention has been paid to little things that occur, especially in the home offices and newspapers. Would you save us a couple of hours' work tonight and explain what the Band-Aid is doing on your right hand? <laughs> well, I cut my finger when I was cutting bread. Unbelievable as it may uh, sound. Mr. President, the practice of managed news is attributed to your administration. Mr. Salinger says he's never had it defined. Will you give us your definition and ask us why you find it necessary to practice it? That, that uh, you are charging us uh, with something, uh, Miss Gray, and then you're asking me to uh, uh, define what it is you're charging me with. I think you might. Uh, let me just say that uh, we've had very limited success in uh, managing the news, if uh, that's what we've been trying to do. And uh, the... Uh, Perhaps you'd tell us what uh, it is that you object to in our treatment of the news. Are you asking me? Yes. To... Well, I don't believe in managed news at all. I thought we ought to get everything we want. Well, I think you should uh, do, Mr. Craig. I'm for that. <laughs> President, the Democratic platform in which you ran for election promises to work for equal rights for women, including equal pay, to wipe out job opportunity discriminations. Now, you have made efforts on behalf of others. What have you done for the women according to the promises of the platform? Well, I'm sure we haven't done enough, and... Uh... <laughs> I must say I am a strong believer in equal pay uh, for equal work, and uh, I think that uh, uh, we ought to uh, do better than we're doing, and I'm glad that you reminded me of it, Ms. Craig. 